Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we just we will see in depth how in dependency injection and the concept of the inversion of control work on Spring. So to start, we have these two classes that I created: the cat service and the data source. The data source have this method called get cats that simply return this tree, this array of this list of three elements. Let's suppose that we get this information for the database. For the cat service, we have this method get cats count, and we should want to implement it. So when we want to implement these methods, uh, we need an instance of the data source. We need to use this method. So how do we do that? Uh, the basic way in Java is we create an instance using the new keyword data source. Okay, and then we just return data source dot get cats dot size. And it will work. We can obviously test this on the main method, which is just we need to create this instance of cat service, cat service, new cat service. And then just print on the console cut service dot get cuts count. So let's execute it. And there we go, it works pretty good. But using this approach is not very smart and it's not very good for various reasons. First of all, Usually the data source class is uh, quite big, so we don't want to create instances anytime we want to use it. So we will have to create it for every method. Or if we have another class that want to use this data source, let's suppose we have another service and it want to use the data source, we need to create a new instance. So it's recommended to not create manually uh, this uh, instance. So how do we do that? We give the control of creation of the instances to Spring. This is the concept of IOC uh, inversion of control. We basically do not create uh, the instances ourselves. Instead, Spring, the container Spring, uh, creates the instances for us. So what do we do? It's pretty simple. We first need to have a data source attribute data source let's call it data source and we remove this one and how in we need to pass in an instance so we pass it on the constructor this is called uh, dependency injection through the constructor so let's do that and we give it a data source uh, no no Data source, data source. There we go. But when we do this, uh, when if we go to our main method, we should pass in, uh, we should pass in the, an instance. So we need an instance. So how do we do that? Well, as I said, we will use a Spring and we will use the Spring uh, IOC, the inversion of control in Spring. So the first thing I want to show you is the application context. So in Spring, uh, what we call application context is, ob is obviously uh, the container that control all our instances. So we will create this application context. Let's call it application context. And what what does this application context is basically manage or our inst or the instances of the objects in our application application context it just uh, it's just a uh, inter interface so we need to create uh, an instance we will use annotation config application context and 
there we go we created our application context now uh, what does this uh, in how in how we and how do we get the instances from this application context it's pretty easy we use application get bean and we pass in uh, the class that we want so get bean bean by the way in spring just mean an instance of a class created by the application context so if we want to get an instance we just use this application get bean and we pass in the class that we want so let's say i want the cat service instance so we just use or if we want the, the application context get we can even get the data source but this won't work uh, if we do this it won't work because we didn't create this we don't have uh, application context does not have uh, all this uh, it doesn't have this information even if we try to execute the program it will give us uh, some problems and how do we solve that there we go and in the console it tells us that we don't have the beans we don't have these instances in our application context we don't have this app instances so what we do is we create uh, we create a configuration file. So this is what we will do. Now let's create this configuration file. It's a Java class config. Let's just give it config dot Java. And it's just a simple class and we will give it an, an annotation. It's configuration annotation. And by the way, configuration annotation just means it's a configuration file and it will return some bins. As I said, bins are instances. And here we create the instances that we want to use on our application context. So the first instance that we want, let's create the cut service instance. And how do we do that? It's easy. It just, uh, we create, uh, we return an instance of the cut service. new uh, new cut service ah. uh, return new new cut service that's it and by the way as we see here we have an error we need the instance of the of the data source so we will create it right here data source and we return a new data source and we can pass in this uh, instance so we just data source okay so now we need to just add an annotation it means bean and what does this annotation do this bean annotation it just tells the application context that this method will return an instance that should be managed by the application context Okay, so now uh, what we do is simply we need to, to tell the application context to use this configuration file that we used and we just pass it right here, class. And then I think uh, everything will be fine right now. We will get these instances. There we go. So we see here in the console, it tells us that they created an instance of the singleton config they created the singleton data source, they created the singleton cut surface. So, so we have these beans, these instances created by the IOC, by the IOC container by Spring. And we can obviously, let's say we want to use this service, we just cut service, cut service. And then we can just do the same as we did cut service dot get cuts count and it will work fine. And as, as you might guys see, they say it's singleton. It's, this is the default, uh, it's, the, it's the default uh, uh, creation by uh, Spring, Spring create the singleton. We can obviously change the scope if we want to use another scope. What usually, and I think 100% of times we use singleton. So this is it, uh, it's pretty good. And uh, we now have some instances uh, managed by the application context now you might see that this is not really convenient 
as a Java developer, you don't really want to do this. You don't want to write a configuration file, a configuration a class, and create the instances manually. This is pretty, it's not really good. And if, if you get a lot of, uh, a lot of beans, uh, you will have a huge file. So this is not really convenient. So now there is obviously a lot of methods and better. The first one is to use XML file. And the second one is to use annotations. And we will see the annotation because they are the most popular and the easiest. So let's suppose we want we want to create uh, the same thing as we did in the config file for the for the cat service, but this time we don't want to use uh, this Java class. We just want to use annotations. So how do we do that? It's pretty easy. We just it's just a simple annotation. It's called component component. And what does this uh, annotation tell? It tells uh, Spring that this class is a Spring bin. So the instance will be created by Spring. It's, it's that easy. And the only thing we need to do is to go to the configuration file and add another notation called component scan. And what does this component scan do? It just, it searched for all the components that exist on our packages. And if it finds it, like if it finds this component, it created. So we need to add this component scan to this, uh, and we had to add component, and it will work. And how do we tell uh, this class that we need to inject the data source instance? We use another uh, annotation. It's called auto wired. And what does this auto wired uh, mean? It just simply tells we will take the bean. Uh, the data source bin and inject it in here so we will have the instance right here and by the way we don't really need to use, we don't really have to use auto wired with the latest spring uh, version it's uh, it's automatically spring is smart enough to know how to inject so now it will work the same way if we execute our main method There we go. It worked the same way. And we also have a Spring tell us that the auto wiring by type from bin cut series via constructor bin name. So this they told us that they do the auto wiring right here in the constructor. So it's pretty good. It worked. And we also, if even if, you, if we want to get rid of this bin, we can do it. If we don't want to use Java configuration at all, and we do the same thing, just component right here. We just need uh, to write the uh, component and it will work the same way. So with, with annotation, it became super easy to, uh, it became super easy to, to create uh, beans. There we go. It worked in the same way we have create and shared instance of singleton and the auto wire. And by the way, there is different way to auto wire. For example, if we don't want to uh, inject the instances in the constructor, we can inject it in the attribute directly. We just add the auto wiring. We can use auto wire right here, but as I said, we don't really have need to do it because Spring does it automatically, and it will work the same way. Uh, I think we need to add auto wire. Give me a second. It's not uh, private, but it should be public. There we go. It works the same way. So we can even inject it right in the attribute on or on the constructor. It works the both. It works in the both way. And by the way, if we if you are familiar with Spring and Spring Boot. Uh, we don't even need this configuration, uh, this config class. We can just delete it. Uh, delete, where is it? Yes, we can just delete this. Uh, delete anyway, I don't care, just delete it. And then, by the way, we, we can just use, uh, we can delete all of this and we can 
if you are familiar with Spring Boot, you can just use Spring Boot application. And by the way, this this annotation is Spring Boot uh, application. If we check its source code, it have all the components scan. It have all the the, the good things. So it had a component scan. So in the Spring Boot application annotation, it scans all our bin. So we get all our component created for us without the need to create the config file. So if you use Spring Boot, you don't really need to to do uh, the config file. Uh, it created automatically for you. So this is it. This is uh, how Spring uh, implements the the pen dependency injection and the inversion of control pattern. Thank you.